Uh, let's get straight into it, starting with uh, the first question here. So, question reads, solve the inequality x squared plus 6x plus 8 is less than 0. So, first thing to us is just recognizing the fact that it's an inequality, not an equation. So, this inequality symbol means um, that the left-hand side is less than the right-hand side. So, I'm just going to write is less than. Now, it's a quadratic, um, so what you should already know is that you can solve quadratics in a diff few different ways. Uh, one of the ways you can solve quadratics is by um, factorizing. So that is uh, what I'm going to try and do here first. If you can't factorize it, then you can try other ways like completing the square or using the quadratic formula. So I'm going to try and factorize this quadratic here. Um, so I'm thinking of two numbers that multiply to make 8 and two numbers that times, sorry, that add to make uh, 6, which clearly are going to be 4 and 2. So the two numbers times to make 8 and add to make 6, 4 and 2. So I'm going to have a double bracket, x and x. The bigger number always goes in the first bracket. Therefore, the smaller number, the 2, is going to go in the other bracket. And the first sign will automatically drop down into the first bracket. The second sign tells you that the two brackets have the same sign. If this was a negative, then it would have different signs. If it's a positive, then it's going to be the same sign. So that means this is also a plus. And I'll just add the less than zero bit. Now, if this was an equation, at this point, you would now say, you'd flip those signs. So if it was an equation, you'd say, well, x equals minus 4 or x equals minus 2. That's what you would be writing if it was a quadratic equation. However, this is a quadratic inequality, so you're going to write something slightly different. Okay, what you're going to do at this stage is, sorry, while well, this focuses, what you're going to do at this stage is the following. You're going to say, um, well, what you're going to do is sketch out this curve. So this is a quadratic, it's a u-shaped curve and I know that the two solutions are at minus 4 and minus 2 so that's the two places it crosses minus 4 and minus 2 so if I sketch this out it would look something like that okay that's my quadratic curve and this quadratic the question is saying uh, for the inequality is where is it less than 0 now thinking about the graph, this is where 0 is, right? Where y equals 0. The place where this graph is less than 0 is this region right here. Okay? Unfortunately, I can't zoom in on this, but uh, I hope you can see anywhere between minus 4 and minus 2, the y value is always going to be underneath 0. So less than 0. So your solution ends up being an inequality. x has to be well, for it to be between here and here, it has to be bigger than minus 4, okay, bigger than minus 4, and at the same time, it also has to be less than minus 2, less than minus 2. So the solution for this inequality here is, as I've written there, x is greater than minus 4, but at the same time, less than minus 2, because within the, that region there, the graph falls under the uh, y equals zero uh, line. Okay, have a go at that. Pause the video now and make an attempt. In, as two separate inequalities if you want or as one so I'm going to write it as two separate just to show you x is uh, less than minus 7 and x is greater than 5 okay so it has to be between those two or I say between in this case it's actually to the left of the minus 7 and to the right of the 5 okay
Okay, so what about when there is a coefficient of x squared? So as you can see in this example here, um, the question says 2x squared plus 9x plus 10 is greater than 0. Now as you would do with a quadratic equation, um, first step is always to try and solve it probably with factorization if you can. Um, now when there is a number in front of the x squared, it's not as easy as, uh, as the previous examples where I just say times to the end and add to the middle. This time you're going to have to use a, a method which um, uh, is called the AC method because you're going to multiply A by C as our starting point. Okay, so I'm just going to write AC over here. So this is the AC method. Um, so to do this, I'm going to do 2 times 10, which is obviously 20. And now what you're thinking of is two numbers that times to make 20 and also add up to make um, 9. So two numbers that times to make 20, that's the times to that, and these two numbers also add up to make 9, and the two numbers are going to be 4 and 5. 4 times 5 is 20, 4 add 5 is 9. So what you now do is you actually cut the 9 into 4x and 5x. So we're going to cut the 9 into 4x and 5x like this. 2x squared stays where it is. 9x, I'm going to write 4x plus 5x plus 10 is greater than 0. Now, if you notice, I haven't changed the question. All I've done is written 9x as two separate bits. And now what you need to do to factorize is factorize each side of this question separately. So I'm going to factorize the left hand side first. What can I take out of 2x squared and 4x? The answer is 2x. Hopefully you're all telling your screen right now. 2x comes out and that leaves you with x plus 2 inside the bracket there. On the right hand side, what comes out of 5x and uh, plus 10? Uh, a positive 5 will come out of that, which leaves me with x plus 2. And you've now got your two brackets. One of the brackets is this, the two terms that are outside. So I'm, remember I'm trying to factorize this and one of my brackets will be 2x plus 5. The second bracket is the bracket that's written here and that is repeated x plus 2. One of the things I quite like about the AC method is you can check if you're correct because uh, again you can factor, uh, expand it back out and see if you get what you started and secondly um, these two brackets here should be the same. If you factorize your two sides separately and you end up with two different brackets you've made a mistake. Okay so I've now got my factorized uh, expression. Now if it was an equation um, my solution would be x equals for this one minus 5 over 2 and for this one x equals minus 2 those would be my two solutions okay and that by the way I'll just write is minus 2.5 okay so minus 2.5 and minus 2 but this is an inequality not an equation so we'll do what we did earlier and we'll sketch out the curve a quadratic curve is always going to be a u-shape that doesn't change even though there's a number in front it's still a u-shape my two solutions are minus 2.5 and minus 2 so I'm just going to put a minus 2 here and a minus two and a half over here so that's what my curve looks like it's a sketch doesn't have to be perfect but there it is and the question says where is this curve bigger than zero so here's the zero line this, this, this is where y equals 0. Where is the curve bigger than 0? And I'm just going to shade in anywhere on this side and anywhere on this side. That's where the curve is bigger than 0. So my two solutions are going to be where x is less than this number here, less than minus 2.5, and where x is greater than minus 2 x is greater than minus 2 and there are your two answers because anywhere on this side and anywhere on this side the uh, the graph is greater than 0 which is what originally what this question is asking for where is it greater than 0 here is a uh, another question for you to try 
Um, 7x squared minus 22x plus 16. Not a particularly nice question, but we can have a go. Um, so pause it now and uh, attempt that question. You'll need to use the AC method first to uh, factorize, and then as I did here, sketch it out and have a go. Try that now. So uh, if you've had a go at this question, well done. Here's what you should have gotten. Firstly, we use the AC method and we're thinking of two numbers at times to make 112, add up to make 22. Two numbers are 8 and 14. So uh, we then try and split uh, this question into minus 14 and minus 8. And then we factorize each side separately, as I've done there, which gives us our two brackets, 7x minus 8 and x minus 2 solutions there and finally the inequality solutions on the right hand side there okay see if you can find some more questions on this on Corbett Maths or on uh, Mathsini and keep practicing your quadratics um, ready for paper two uh, good luck revising thank you